previous section we have seen introduction of Django views, templates, model forms and Django admin site. In this lecture we'll see URL patterns and we'll create our first Django template. So you can also pass the template and context by this return render let me copy this and uh, okay context template yes you can pass this you can pass the template name over here and uh, context over here so this is the another way to pass the template and we need to create yes we created the template and don't forget to include the URL template underscore view and uh, okay so just save it and run the server once uh, view okay there might be some error we haven't defined the template yet so template view fair enough again refresh the page okay so let me just uh, separate both the views and uh, template view explicitly request sorry request and uh, let me just uh, cut and paste over here just run the server again and uh, yes this is our view and uh, let me just template view okay great so this is how we can render our template and this is the template rendering this is how we can render our template this is the brief introduction of template rendering we'll see in depth about this template knowledge in the few sections so now we are moving on the models what are the models models are the things which are used for the table creation for the backend support and for the view for the interface to the presentation layer which is also called a views so just go to the models in our app and just write a class uh, and a name whatever you want and naming it register and uh, you need to pass models dot uh, model models dot model and uh, you need to define your first name this is a fields which we will create in the models and uh, models dot uh, care field models dot care field let me define its max length the length is equal to 20 and uh, null equal to false okay let me copy it and paste it just change the name last name and email is equal to just models dot uh, email field just make sure you have spelled it and uh, you write the spelling correctly now equal to false okay cool so this is our model and we need to define we need to register our model in the admin.py so first we need to import our model name from dot models and the class of the model which is register and we need to register it admin dot site dot this is the syntax of the registration of our model register okay save it fair enough so this is how we can create it and uh, okay this is our template this is our view let me show you one thing our server is start let me write admin over here okay what's this this is the django administration so 
Django provides us the inbuilt facility of its administration page. We can log in over here by anything you want and uh, if I logged in this will give me an error. Why? Because we haven't created any user or any super user or staff account. What are this? I'll explain in a few seconds. What are this? Just let me show when we logged in any social websites we have to first register and then we can logged in so here in Django administration we have to create a user by writing python manage.py create super user so we need to give the username and uh, I'm giving you the password okay yeah we have created our user and uh, now we can log in into admin site great just have a look this is our model which we have created this is the model register and uh, it gives error I'll explain you why I'll explain you why but uh, just check it if I remove the models if I will if I don't register the models then uh, it will not show anything in the Django admin so first what is this Django admin panel let me explain you Django admin it has the its inbuilt interface as I told you before it provides us users and group for the authentication users this is the users this is the list of users this is staff account what is the staff account staff account is that uh, the staff users can logged in into the admin as there may be many partners in your project then you can assign the staff account to your partners so that they can also logged in into the admin site so let me create one user just have a look that Django also provide our also provide registration form also provides this filter and this search bar so this is the by default functionality of Django let me add the user and uh, let me create one user test and uh, password and let me save it so we have created one user you can give it the first name if you want last name if you want and email address if you want okay just have a look if we don't write the email address correctly then uh, Django will give us an error enter a valid email address so this is also the by default functionality of Django which it provides by default in its code so whenever we install our project and create a new app this whole functionality will automatically installed in the system so now we can save it here you can see that staff status and super user status what is staff status here you can see that designates whether the user can log into this admin site that means if you tick this staff account then user can log in into the admin panel and what's this super user status what's this writes designate that the user has all permissions without explicitly assigning them that means if the user is the super user status and staff account it is it has the equal rights as the admin so here I am giving only staff status to the test user and here is some groups and here is the user permissions what does that mean that means when this test user logged in into the admin panel as it is a staff account he or she can log in into the admin site whenever he or she will log in into the admin site if we give some permissions then he or she can access only those permissions which we have 
given let me give no permissions to the user and let me just save it i'll show you what will happen let me log out from the admin and okay fair enough so let me logged in test and uh, okay let me okay so here what you will see you don't have permission to edit anything what does that mean we haven't give any user we haven't given any permissions to this user yes we have given this user as a staff status so this user can log in into the admin side but he or she don't have any rights or don't have any permission so he or she can just see the admin panel and if we give the permissions by okay so if we give the permissions to this user as a as we are giving user permission he can add user change user delete user uh, add group change group and delete group okay so we are, so you need to pass it from left to right and okay let me save it and uh, let me check it again by login and logged out test okay so here you can see users you can add user you can add groups delete groups etc now if we give more things just like users test if we remove this staff status and uh, give it a super user status that means let me create a new user to make you very clear ah uh, yes okay add user test one okay save we are giving only super user status that means we have all the that that means the user have all the all this permissions and let me save it and uh, logged in login again by the user test one okay so this is the error message please enter the correct username and password for a staff account note that both fields may be case sensitive what does that mean this test one user don't have the access right to logged in into the staff status staff account pay attention only staff account permission members can logged in into the django admin site if you want to create your own views you can create it and then give them permissions and then they can logged in but if the user has the super user rights but don't have the staff status account then user cannot logged in into the admin site so we have to give permissions we have to give staff status permission just check it over here also this user don't have staff status so he or she cannot log in into the admin panel and i am giving the staff status permission let me check it again and uh, log out test one and password and yes we don't have we don't give any permissions explicitly although this is this can see all the rights as compared to the admin this this is the second admin we can say that so this is the admin panel we can give explicitly any permissions groups and uh, filters etc you can search the groups over here what you want to tell and so on so this is the basically admin so as we have discussed what are the models we'll see the models in a few seconds in this lecture we have seen url patterns and our first template using django. create our first template using django in the next lecture we'll see how to create users in the django admin and give them different permissions and we'll see how to use that permission of users